Do you like reading? Me too! My name's Rachel and this is my reading room. Come on in! Today we're reading one of my favorite books about a wonderful friendship between Crow and Snow. And this is written and illustrated by Robert Broder and Oliver Tallick. One spring, a farmer built a scarecrow. Crow tried to say hello to the tractor as it passed. Hello, said Crow. Hello, said Crow. But the tractor never said hello back. In the middle of the summer, the sun would beat down. Perhaps it will rain today, thought Crow. Sometimes it did. Winter came, the corn was gone, and Crow didn't see much of the farmer. It was windy and gray. Crow just stood there, and then it started snowing. The farmer's children ran outside and rolled and rolled the snow into an enormous ball. They rolled another ball until they had built a snowman right next to Crow. Crow and snowman stood side by side. Crow wondered if he should say something. Hello, said Crow. Hello, said Snow. It's nice to have someone out in this field with me, said Crow. It certainly is a nice field, said Snow. Crow tried to think of something else to say. I like your scarf, said Crow. Thank you, said Snow. I like your hat. Will you be staying a while, asked Crow. I'm not sure, said Snow. Maybe. And Snow and Crow stood side by side. The days became warmer. Are you leaving? asked Crow. It seems that way, said Snow. Will you come back? asked Crow. I'm not sure, said Snow. Maybe. Well, I certainly have enjoyed your company, said Crow. But Snow was already gone. All through the spring, Crow stood tall and alone in the field. The farmer plowed, planted, and watered. The tractor drove by without saying hello. Crow couldn't help thinking about snow. Another harvest went by, and it started snowing. Why, hello, said Crow. Nice to see you again. Yes, indeed, said Snow. Nice to see you again. You look a bit different, said Crow. You look about the same, said Snow. And the two friends stood side by side. One bitterly cold day, a blizzard covered Crow and Snow in a blanket of white. I like it under here, said Crow. Me too, said Snow. It's like our own little home. Crow was happy until the days became warmer. Snow, said Crow. Yes, said Snow. I will miss you said Crow. I will miss you too, said Snow. And he was gone. As the seasons passed, the tractor and the corn came and went, and the children grew older. And every winter, Snow would return and stand next to Crow. One winter, it snowed so much, the children built a second snowman. Who is that? asked Crow. I'm not sure, said Snow. It sure does feel crowded out here, said Crow. It certainly does agreed Snow. The visitor did not stay long. As the sun rose higher in the sky, neither did Snow. When Snow returns, thought Crow, I will tell him how I feel. But many years passed where the children didn't come out to play, so Crow never saw Snow. Then one winter, new children came and rolled and rolled the snow into an enormous snowball. Welcome back! said Crow excitedly. It's good to be back, said Snow. I see you have a new hat. Yes, said Crow. The last one blew away. Well, I like it, said Snow. Crow wondered if he could say what he was feeling. One night, a strong wind came bursting across the field and knocked Crow over. You caught me, said Crow. It's the least I can do, said Snow. 
It was quiet. Snow, said Crow. Yes, said Snow. I love you, said Crow. I love you too, said Snow. Crow and Snow stood side by side and they were happy. I love this story. It's so important to tell people how you feel. Well, if you like this story, be sure to like and follow along with Read Along with Rachel, where if you have a book, you have a friend. And I'm your friend too. Bye!